Do example number three. Okay. All right. Hey, I didn't give you a balanced equation, Mr. Sims. Mm -mm. Can you hear me? Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> He's a wacky guy. Okay, so 90 grams of FCCl3 reacts with 9.2 liters of H2S at H SDP. Well, we've got to write a balanced equation. Yeah, I think we should. All right, so we'll say FeCl3 plus H2S. That's the two chemicals, and it's going to form. Uh, HCl is one of the products. Oh, well, HCl, good. I can do that. So the H goes to the Cl. Does that mean the Fe goes to the S? Yeah. Oh, right. but wait a second. Hmm. We have to, like, put it together. Yeah. Hmm. Well, FeCl3. Yeah. So that means the iron's charge is plus, plus three. three yep. Okay. And he's going to get together with S. And S on the periodic table is in minus column 16. Two. So his charge is minus dos. Yep. So that'll be a weird one. Fe2, 2, 2, S, 3. There you go. Now that's not balanced not remotely. Nope. So how do I put a 2? I'm going to say this is my most complex mm -hmm. one. Put a 1 yeah, there, right? Definitely. How we did that before. Okay. And that's going to make this a 2. two and that gives yeah. me 6 chlorines. Uh -huh. So I'll put a 6 here. Uh -huh. That gives me 6, six hydrogens. So if I put three. a 3 here. Hey, that's it. Ding. 2, 3, 6, 1. OK. So FeCl3, we have 90.0 grams. Mm -hmm. And we have 9.2 liters of this. It says, what is the limiting reactant? But actually, it's almost better to ask this question. What is the mass first? Yeah. Mass of HCl. So I'll say question mark grams. So we're going to convert liters of this to grams of this. Grams of this to grams of this. Lowest one wins. Yep. Let's go. All right, we'll do some stoichiometry. Some stoichiometry. Say stoichiometry. Huh? Stoichiometry. I can't hear you. OK. 90.0 grams okay. of FeCl3. -E no negative numbers. Fully over clad. One. And now I'm going to convert the grams of FeCl3 to the moles I suppose I should add of FeCl3. 56 plus 71 plus 35 is like at 162.5. I was about to say that. 162.5. Okay. <laughs> so grams of FeCl3. Now we're going to do the mole to mole ratio. And there will be six moles of HCl. Probably should have done the bottom first, but oh well. Eh. Two moles of FeCl3, and the grams of HCl would be one mole of HCl. I don't need to, this one. This will be 36.5 grams of HCl. All right? Yep. So it's a gram to gram problem. We've done quite a few already today. Yes, we have. And we get 60.6 60 grams. 60 grams of HCl. Hey, guess what? What? Let's do another one. Yeah, we just got to keep doing more. Yep, got to hey, do But this is a little different because this is a liter to gram problem. So I've got 9.2 liters of H2S. And it's at SDP. So That's we can convenient. use that 22.4. Later on, we'll learn how to deal with non STP yeah. conditions. So we'll say liters of H2S to one mole of H2S. And that number is 22.4. Mm -hmm. And oh. then we're going to say uh, six moles uh, yeah. HCl. of HCl. And is three. equal to three moles of H2S. We're getting there. Yep. Hey, and hey we could use the last 36. one. Thirty-six point five grams of HCl to one mole of HCl, and that gives us what? Point oh, eight a small two number. Point eight two grams. Grams of HCl. So obviously, this is the limiting reactant. Yep. We're going to run out of H2S first. Yep. So now what we want to do is answer the question, I yes. guess. This is actually the answer to what is the mass of the HCl. OK. And, and then what, what is the limiting reactant? That's the 9.2 liters of H2S, the so one that produced this the smallest the limiting amount. reactant. That okay. makes this the excess reactant. OK, so what amount then of the excess is left over? So we're we going to convert liters of this another to grams of this. Yeah. All right, let's get a blank screen because okay. we need more space. 9.2. Okay. Two liters of H2S over one times uh, 22.4 liters of bottom. H2S on the bottom to one mole of H2S. And then we're going to say moles of H2S uh -huh. to moles uh, FeCl3. Do you remember what the ratio was? It was two of the Fe's and well, let's three go back of the others. others. He Two Fe's and three H2S's. What so you? you're so amazing. I know. And the molar mass of FeCl3 is 162.5, wasn't it? I believe it was. One mole of FeCl3, and the molar mass was 162.5 grams 
of FeCl3. And we get, Mr. Sam says, furiously tugging on the Coke Collider. Mm -hmm. 35. 44.5. 44.5 grams of FeCl3. Now, we happen to have 90 something. We had 90. Was it 90 or 92? Mm -hmm. 90, you're right. Okay. So we're going to take 90.0 grams of FeCl3 to begin with and subtract 44.5 grams. Remember, these are the wheels. Right, um, the 90 grams is how many wheels we had, and the 44 grams is essentially how many wheels we, used, we up. used. And the difference between 45.5, about a half of it, isn't it? 45.5 grams of FeCl3 remains. So just a subtraction. Yeah. See, guys, it's just a matter of doing stoichiometry like a one, two, three, four, five, lots of times, and. Yeah, it's just kind of annoying that way, I think. Yeah, you just got to do it. Yeah, and so you're going to do a worksheet where you're going to do so much stoichiometry, and you're going to become so good at it, you're going to be, like, amazing. And that's a good thing because uh, second semester, you yeah. use it. You get to, yeah, stoichiometry is kind of like the theme for the rest of the year. Mm -hmm. Math, math, math. Okay, so I think we don't need to do more examples, do we? I think we're probably good. I think we're good. Yeah. I think you're good. You're probably tired of us. If you want more